Now, we must ensure we fill more political seats with women. Now, these were the words of a world-class performance strategist and author, Dr. Abiola Salami at the Vanguard Women, the International Women's Day 2024. The theme of this year is tagged 360 degrees, health, wealth, and impact. All speakers called for women's empowerment and inclusivity. Our correspondent, Paul George, has more. Do you want to fix the problem of gender inequality? There are three things we must give immediate attention. One, we must engage in ongoing cultural reorientation. Two, we must promote inclusive laws. And three, we must invest in women and women-related causes. In this hall are mostly women who gather for this year's women's conference. In this interactive panel session, the women, some of whom are professionals, look for solutions for women's health and wealth and how to make a positive impact in society. The only male panelist in the event, a performance strategist and author, Dr. Abiola Salami, speaks about reorientation and asks the female gender to equip themselves with education. He calls on the government to match their words with action and ensure an enabling environment for women. Um, for, for the women, it's important to continue to take personal responsibility for your growth and development because you cannot succeed beyond how knowledgeable you are. In my speech, I talked about the need for cultural reorientation that has to be done by all of us, men, women alike, you know, to ensure that um, we don't see women as a weaker vessel, but that we see women as strong contributors to the growth and development of our economy. I strongly believe that a peak performing woman is a catalyst for economic growth. Lagos State Commissioner for Commerce, Cooperatives, Trade and Investment, Falashade Ambrose, Medebem, says our ministry has started making an impact by prioritizing women's inclusion, explaining that the challenges of achieving gender equality are daunting but not insurmountable. The group woman editor and convener of Vanguard Women, Morenike Tyree, while speaking on the theme, says women are multidimensional and should be looked at as such to impact the world. Sustainable Development Report 2023, where they predict that it will take 300 distant years to close the gender equality gap. I am proud to share that our ministry, the Lagos State Ministry of Commerce, Cooperatives, Trade and Investment, has taken intentional steps to prioritize the inclusion of women as a crucial component of our core priorities, particularly in strengthening the organized private sector and the industrial sector, including nano startups and obviously women. We tend to look at women in one dimension. We don't tend to look at women in all dimensions. So we thought we should uh, beam a searchlight 360 degrees on a woman's complete well-being, physically, mentally, and financially. And that's what addressed the theme, health, wealth, and impact. Um, the impact specifically because um, many of us in this part of the world were not raised to think of having an impact on the world. I have seen very sad scenarios of women who could be more. Why is it important for us um, to promote financial inclusion? Also, a member in the Lagos State House of Assembly representing Amu Wadofi Constituency 1, Fuluke Stella Osafile, challenged women not to sit on their hours. She urged them to go all out to possess their possessions. She spoke alongside a seasoned journalist, Funke Treasure Durodola, who says it's high time the action started for women to be lifted out of poverty. Our challenges as a female genders are so many. And the government seems not to be, you know, proactive. Women need to come out of their shell. They need to be involved in every strata of the, of the society, be it education, health, politics, all avenue. Women need to be, you know, more vocal. Nobody will know your problem if you don't talk about it. This is the time for us to begin to show up. Our participation in politics has dwindled. 
Uh, so we have a lot more of us in advocacy than in the real, on the real field. Beyond rhetorics, we have to now begin to take action more than ever before to pull women out of poverty. In a country where women are underestimated, Nigerian women are still hopeful of breaking barriers and redefining the norms. Paul George plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.